Worship does not add anything to God or change God. He is who He is. Just because we worship Him does not add anything to Him. Just because we do not worship Him does not take away anything away from Him. He is sovereign. He is all-powerful. He is God. But worship certainly affects us or changes us. James 4 and verse 8 says, Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So when we draw near to God in worship, He draws near to us. In other words, we experience the presence of God. So that's one of the things that happens to us in worship. We experience the presence of the living God. And as we experience the presence of God, there can be conviction of sin, there is fullness of joy, there is refreshing, there is strength to the inner man, and we are empowered in worship. All these things happen when we experience the presence of God. So in worship, we experience God's presence. And secondly, when we worship God, worship actually changes us. In fact, 2 Corinthians 3 and verses 17 and 18 says, Now the Lord is a spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. In other words, as we surrender to God in worship, there is a marked change in our thoughts, in our motives, in our attitudes, in our speech, in our behavior. We are being changed from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of God. And we are changed into His image. We become more Christ-like as we draw near to Him in worship. So worship changes us, worship transforms us, changes our everything, our thoughts, our speech, our motives, our actions, Everything changes as we draw near to God in worship. And the third thing that happens to us in worship is that we are empowered to rule and reign. Our identity as believers is that we are a royal priesthood. We are royalty, we are kings, and we are also priests. As priests, we worship God, we serve God in worship, and as kings, we rule and reign. So 1 Peter 2 and verse 9 says, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Now that's our identity as worshippers. We are priests who serve God in worship and we are royalty to rule and reign. So when we come before God in worship, worship changes us. We can expect to experience the presence of God in tangible ways. We can expect to be transformed, our very thoughts, our speech, our behavior, everything about us. And we can also expect to rule and reign because worship empowers us. So as we worship God, let's come with that expectation that we will be changed, that we will experience the presence of God, and that we will rule and reign above our circumstances. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this amazing privilege that you've given us to worship you, the God of heaven and earth. And Lord, we thank you that as we draw near to you, you've promised that you will draw near to us. Father, we thank you that we can experience your presence in worship and your presence changes us, empowers us, refreshes us. Father, we thank you that as we worship you, we can experience your transforming power. And our very thoughts, our speech, our behavior will be transformed, will be changed. And Father, we thank you that as we worship you, we will be empowered to rule and reign and take our place as kings and priests before you, God. We thank you for this amazing privilege that you've given us, and we pray that you will take us deeper and reveal, Lord, more of you, even as we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.